Find the value of k so that 4x squared minus kx plus 1 is equal to 0 as a repeated 0. So we've got 4x squared minus kx plus 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We need to write that down underneath so that we can say that a is 4, b is minus k, and c is equal to 1. So we've got a is 4 b is equal to minus k and c is equal to 1. You need to be very careful with the signs with this type of problem. Now, for a repeated 0 or repeated root, b squared minus 4ac must be equal to 0. This is called the discriminant. Therefore, if b, so we're going to have minus k squared from there, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 1 and that's equal to 0. Minus k squared, well minus k times minus k gives me k squared, minus 4 times 4 is 16, times 1 is still 16, so we've got minus 16 is equal to 0. This is known as the difference of two squares, and can be factorised using this a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So, a will be k and b will be 4, so k plus 4, k minus 4 times k minus 4 is equal to 0. So either k plus 4 is equal to 0, which gives that k is equal to minus 4, or k minus 4 is equal to 0, which gives that k is equal to 4. So the solution is k is equal to plus or minus 4. To look at it from a geometrical perspective, here we have the graph of f of x is 4x squared minus 0x plus 1, because k is 0 in this case, but we've got 4x squared minus kx plus 1, and we've got a slider here that we can change the value of k, and at this particular moment uh, k is 0. We want to know where we get one root, so if we slide it back to minus 4, where we just calculated k is minus 4, OK, we can see we get one root there. OK, and then if we slide it along to here, at 4, we get the another root here. It doesn't actually tell us what the root is. It just tells you the value of k where there is a root. And we can have this situation where we've got two roots. We're going to have two roots here and here. And then at minus 4, we get one root and then between minus 4 and 4 we get no roots at 4 we get one root and then after 4 we get uh, two, two uh, roots so just to finish off then just to bring this into nice, nice everything all together a k is equal to plus or minus 4 we get a repeated 0 if k is less than minus 4 and k is greater than 4, we get two distinct roots. And if k is between minus 4 and 4, we get no real roots. And you can play around with this applet to see this for yourself.